Yo, 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 this is King Erna coming to y'all live and direct. I wanted to speak on a Big Meech video that I put out and everyone going underneath of it and saying that Big Meech can't change his life around and come out here and help the youth and save them actually from doing a lot of wrong. You must understand that that's exactly the way they want us to act. They want us to not believe in one another. They want us to look at one another and say, Look at the quarrelsome we, we, we cause between you. Just look at it. Look at how they're always fighting about nonsense. Look at how they seek attention. My platform is a platform that I built for the youth. And guess what? Whether you like it or not, it's close to 10,000 subscribers that respect it and love it. Although... At first, some of them didn't understand the fact that King Erna was saying that he honored individuals that was put in a rough situation but caused themselves to be put in that situation. Some of them was murderers, some of them were con artists, and some of them were just devious individuals. At the end of the day, the reason why King Erna respect and love them individuals in a way that he can say, I look up to that person. Because that person has changed their life. Every individual that I, you have heard me honor on my platform that used to be on the streets changed their life. And every person that you heard me speak on that recycled crime, y'all know who recycled crime is by now. The ones who get arrested and tell on everybody and everything that they have going on. Recycled crime, that's what that's called. To come home and continue to do the negative things after the government gives them that 5K1, and they're allowed to go back out to the streets and do wrong things. There is no comparison to the 5K1 taker and the one who went to trial and, you know, got found guilty or pled guilty to his wrong, his or her wrong. You see, what's going on here is that they have figured out a way to make us all enemies. When we begin to understand that the guys who have been found guilty, who learned their lesson two and three years later, five and ten years later, twenty and thirty years later. It doesn't matter. It's the fact that they learned their lesson and that they have become positive individuals. Some will say, oh, King Erna, you can't say that because they didn't get released on the streets. Well, I'm going to say that me along with a lot of individuals that done a lot of time in prison, we got released to the streets and we changed our lives. It's a higher number of individuals changing their lives that went through the punishment and took theirs the correct way, opposed to the ones who didn't honor the punishment, didn't get anything out of it and just said, you know what, I'm going to do this trick every time I get arrested or every time I get indicted. King Erna begins to concept everything that he has going on in his life and what's around him. And... He honors and loves the hate. When I say I honor and love the hate, I do because it allow individuals who don't know me, who say, let me go to his page and see what he's talking about. Once they see what I'm talking about, they say this guy was a bad guy, but he changed his life for the best. And he's not afraid to do it or say it in front of anybody. See, that's the difference between me and different individuals, see? I'm not scared or afraid to express myself anywhere I'm at. Anyone would tell you this, from state penitentiary to federal to county, wherever you know me from, even if it's on the streets, I always spoke up for the people I love and myself also. But for many years, I spoke up for everyone else. Now I'm speaking up for me because I'm allowing the children to know that my honor is intact and my energy, my honor, my love and my respect has grown over the years because I take my time out and I deal with families without putting them on Instagram or YouTube. I actually give back and I don't have to go into how many trans passes I have given back or how many dollars I have got give, given out of my pocket. The reason why I don't have to because it's truly for the people to be able to have and move on and take that motivation and say, I want to do it for someone else. No one is perfect. 
So we're going to begin to understand that. And I need for everybody to stay focused on that. Stay focused on the understanding that if you were a perfect individual, then if you have a movement, it won't be able to go forward. You know why? No one is going to log on to it and actually honor it. You know what they're going to say? They're going to say, I don't respect it. I don't honor it. But when you see them logging on, youngins, and you got your moving and this movement and it's taking off, you see them logging on and you see the hate, that means that you're growing. Do not get upset. Do not get mad. There were others that came before you, like Malcolm X, individual who was probably worse than a lot of individuals are today, but he became one of the best of the people. Stay focused and remember the change is for you, not for everybody else. Don't worry about the naysayers, the ones that you see that's trying to send you to jail, the ones who want to ruffle your feathers. You know why? The more you stay free and do the right thing, the more it kills them. When they mention that word honor, it'll burn them up. It'll make their face flame because guess what? They know the honor has been restored in your heart and you're graduating to be a better person. And guess what? Your followers that was followers of negativity will begin to follow you. I'm King Ernie from the Honor Your Life campaign. Keep a smile on your face and your honor intact. Live and direct.